I thought he'd be taller. I really think you have me messed up with somebody else. I want you to curve the bullet. I don't, I don't know what that means. I didn't really know what I was letting myself in for. I thought, you know, as a 16 year old boy in you that goes, yeah, do an action film. Um, and you think, yeah, I'll go down to the gym, that's exciting. So for six weeks before we made the film, I did that, it was great, loving it. Four weeks into the film, great, loving it. And then about fifth weekend, I was just like, doing stunts for 12 hours a day and then going to the gym for 90 minutes in the night. It's just like, you know what, you can stick this. <laughs> In fight scenes, you do two things. You swing punches and you take punches. And swinging punches is fine, but for some reason, the best part about doing a fight scene is taking a hit and, and making it look good. And, um, and that, I don't know, I get a lot of satisfaction at that. Your father died yesterday on the rooftop of the Metropolitan Building. Sorry. <laughs> look, the liquor aisle's just over there, so if Your you want to Your father was one of the greatest assassins who ever lived. The man who killed him is behind you. <laughs> the thing that I really appreciated from Angelina more than anything though. It was just that she didn't take herself too seriously and um, kind of kept in mind that if you can't have fun when you're making an action movie, you shouldn't be out making an action movie. We were on top of a train and having to jump over a bridge and she was going under a bridge. And I was on a big wire that helped me come up, but I had to smash through a fence. And, uh, and I kept saying to, you know, this is really painful, you know, darling. And um, the best piece of advice was just say, just shut up and enjoy it. <laughs> All right, go on, go on. This is your destiny.